All right, today we're at ABT. It is Tuesday, Technique Tuesday. Um, we're just going to do a little bit of a breakaway from the clinch. You can use this to set up strikes, so it's really good for MMA, or you can use it to set up takedowns and mixing the two together. So it's pretty simple. So a lot of times when you're fighting, you end up stuck in this over-under scenario like this. So we end up here. Even if you watch professional boxing, a lot of times they're punching and they're just punched away. It's like a natural position to fall into. And then from here, obviously, in pro boxing, you're getting broke up and you reset and start again. But you will find yourselves in this position a lot of the time. Now, if you're both looking for the takedown, this is typically called 50 50. Yeah, we've both got an under up, we've both got an over up. So we've both got the same chance, really, unless one of us is more highly skilled than the other. Well, you're going to end up stuck here trying to grab legs, trying to get shots off, and it is tough to get anything working from that position. It's very hard to land a clean shot. Jack Berry and he's heading my shoulder, look, I can't really hit him. You know, I've got this, and maybe this, okay? So I'm not getting much devastating shots off there. So a nice uh, thing you can do is break out of this clinch, and then you can always re-enter if you want to take him down. So all I'm going to do is get my thumb, if Jack's got a really high underhook, this is all I'm going to be able to do at the start, is get the thumb, put it inside the crook of his elbow here. Okay, so we're in this position, thumb goes in the crook of the elbow, and I just put my weight on it and push it down. Okay, once I've managed to break the underhook down, his, his hand is no longer up on my scapula, yeah? So thumb goes in and I break this down. So see how his hand now is like on my rib cage. From there, I'm going to use this as a wedge, I'm going to pull my underhook out and I'm going to step back. So if we've got a left underhook, my left leg's going to step back and I'm going to throw this like an uppercut. Yeah. That's a really good setup for a strike off. If I, if I pulled my left arm out, I'm going to strike with my left hand or I'm going to kick with my left leg. Okay, so again, we're here. Thumb goes in, break this down. As soon as I feel like his hand's on my ribs, I'm going to step back. Pull that out there, I can sink a big body kick in. I dictate what happens with this arm, so I can lift it, I can push it down and across there to make it easier to hit him. So that's for setting up strikes, and then I can use that then to set up clinches, takedowns that are more advantageous than this. So look, my thumb goes in, I'm going to break away here, and I push this arm, and it allows me to take his back. I can be here, do the same thing. So I'll push this across. I've got my single leg there. I can push this across. I've got my double leg. But the idea is, is that by pushing this across, you can't turn into me. So I can effectively do this, stay on the outside of his arms, yeah? So it's just clearing, it's clearing this underhook, okay? And then you can mix the two together. So I could be here, my thumb goes in, I break this down, I rip my underhook out, I punch this up, I punch him, and then I enter for my takedown. So that'd be like a, a nice MMA blend. Again, we're here, thumb goes in, breaking that down, stepping back, and there's my punch, and then I step across him with that double leg. So that's a nice little uh, MMA twist from this. 50-50 position. Like I say, a lot of people get stuck here. Sometimes it's good just to break away and just reset. We can use this for striking or for getting the advantage uh, to get the takedown. So give it a go. Let me know what you think.